may know people are going red for women during the month of February. The American Heart Association is raising awareness for heart disease. And here at WCCO, we are a proud sponsor. Last week, I was at the Mall of America for the Go Red Health Expo. Women had the chance to learn about heart health and watch a fashion show, even included a doggy fashion show. But here to talk to us today about heart health is Mayo Clinic's La Princess Brewer. Good morning and thank you for coming in. Good morning, thank you for having me. And the reason why you're here is because you're really trying to change the narrative for a group of women in terms of heart disease. You're targeting African American women because they aren't necessarily aware of some of these symptoms. Correct. So each year, more African, African American women die from heart disease than breast cancer, lung cancer, and stroke combined. This makes heart disease their number one killer in this country. Unfortunately, only 36% of African American women are aware that heart disease is their number one cause of death. Doctor, when, as a cardiologist, when patients come in to see you, uh, when you see an African American woman with heart disease, uh, what what's their response? Are they surprised? Because it, it, often it'll hit people at younger ages than maybe they expect. People think of heart diseases as older men, as, and mm -hmm. white men especially. Yeah, so they, they are surprised that it's their number one uh, killer. Yeah. But we try to focus on things that they can do to overcome heart disease, such as knowing their numbers, um, eating healthier, and being more active so that they can prevent heart disease in the first place. I was at that fashion show over the weekend and listening to some of the stories of survivors, and one woman talked about how she had a toothache, and she didn't realize that the mouth and the heart are connected. How important is it just knowing your own body when looking for warning signs? Yep, and that's one reason that we're um, hosting these Red Dress Sunday events to increase awareness about heart disease and the um, symptoms of heart disease as women oftentimes experience uh, atypical symptoms, although we do experience chest pain, which is the most common, but we do experience uh, atypical symptoms. And by wearing the red dresses, this is a powerful reminder that we have to protect our hearts, that women have to not only focus on their outer selves, but their inner selves as well. And that's about protecting our hearts. These uh, red dress kind of events that you've been doing, tell us more about those. You're doing one this weekend, right? Yeah, so the, the red dress events are a way that the Mayo Clinic Office of Health Dis Disparities and Office of Women Health are actually partnering with local African American congregations to raise awareness about um, heart disease in African American women. So we're asking that the women wear red dresses. Like you and, are today. <laughs> and the men wear red ties. Nice. Um, so that we can promote and raise awareness about heart disease in the African American When you community. talk to these groups, what do you tell them? What's your, what's your message? So I'm telling them that they must take care of mm -hmm. their hearts and not only look at the outer self, but again, in the inner self. So know your numbers. So your know blood, your numbers, know is, your numbers, your blood pressure, yep. glucose, and cholesterol. Get moving and eat healthier. Be active, yeah, Dr. Important. Brewer. Thank you for sharing your story and for coming in today. Thank Dr. You. Brewer is organizing a red dress, red tie Sunday event this week. It is at the New Hope Baptist Church, starting at 10:15 in the morning, and she will speak at 11 a.m. Thank you Thank so much you. for coming in. Thank you all. We